you know, when you say your big dream, I have expanded myself enough to say I am. I don't even like saying the Tony Robbins because I just want to say the Maritza Coscarelli of women, middle age and a few amazing men to fall in love with themselves, to get clear on their messaging and to persevere to the dream that they want. Because I've lived several dreams. I don't have money to show for it, but I got a lot of heart and I'm going to get the money because I'm going to help so many people. Let me let me promise you this. If you've had enough money to pay the bills enough to have a lot of heart, you fucking won. (laughs) <laughs> Marissa, I'm being very serious with you. Like, A, just even thinking about business coaches and how entrepreneurial you are and just listening. Before before I go into the answer, and I have very good insight, and I think it's going to help you. I really, really want to make sure, like, like, I promise you, you are just so happy and charismatic right now. Like, I can't wait to look at the Twitter stream in between your call and the next one because you just made half the audience fall in love with you. I just want to say this very slowly. It's very important to me. Um, much like Joe, like fixes, like when you go and you operate, you look at where they're wasting money, who the bad employees are. It's like bar rescue, right? You come in, you audit and you fix it. Right. And then they either flip it. I, I think of it that practical. When I, when I hear your story, please do not put, you know, putting money in the bank or buying something bigger on a pedestal. You've got way too much happiness pouring out of you. So I'm a little bit less worried about, and, and actually, you know, I'm really excited right now because it's going to lead to my answer. Your, the biggest issue a coach has with the world I live in is subconsciously, even when they're sweet as fucking pie like you are, subconsciously, 99% of their content that they put out on the internet is in the intent of a lead gen to get them to sign up. You've been in subscription business your whole life, right? You had the studio, 250 people. They were paying a monthly fee to go there, right? You're in a coaching framework now, which I'm sure sits in probably a monthly fee or a one-time fee. And what what people struggle with is when they're putting out an Instagram, a YouTube, starting a podcast, doing Zooms and Hangouts like this, you know, you know, con- you know, practically you understand that it is putting yourself out there and putting out good information. The big reason I've been able to ascend to a different level than the far majority of people that look like me is because I have zero intent to get one dollar from you. And that's the end, right? You have two children. I do as well. That's called unconditional love. As much as we love our friends, as much as we love our best friends that we've known since third grade, we would cut those people for our children, right? It's just the way it is. In that, because you do love that friend that you had since third grade, you do love that first cousin, you do love other people, in that little delta of your children versus the everybody else is the magic. And that is the small variance that I need. For, I need you to understand the following, that you need to produce unlimited content and unlimited access. Let people go on Zoom with you. It holds 100 people. You just talk. You just shoot the shit. If you get to a place mentally where you can do a one or two hour Facebook Live or Zoom or, or Hangout and have zero mentions of your coaching, zero, you will be stunned by how much that leads to actual coaching. I love that. I can commit to that. I have no, like, I don't feel any resistance or reservations to that. I do click to something that leads to one more quick thing that will Please. allow the shift Please. to really happen, Please. Please. which is immediately, like, from this high, I got this, like, the deflation of a balloon when it goes... I got that around, okay, so I come out there and I got two or three people here and there. And I have a lot of people I've I've met networking live that are now networking with me on Zoom. I was on a BNI at seven o'clock this morning, like the work ethic is there. And those people were sending me texts during the BNI, like, we love you so much. We're so happy you're part, part of our club. Thank you for what you do for us, right? But I, the attraction, like I study, I'm a yogi of 20 years and meditator. I study law of attraction, all of that. I get that work. And I'm wondering, what is the missing link right now? What is the shift I have to make to attract? And it's probably getting out in a bigger way. Oh, yes. Ahead. But I think, it's the, I think it's the intent. You know, right now you're so, and I love where you're at. I think it's a, I think it's not a bad thing, but I do think it's a thing. I think the intent is I'm going to build 
I'm going to do this thing, and then four people are going to sign up for coaching. You're not wrong. I know, Marissa. Right. I, it's what I, I know see to my right. husband. I know you're right. I, I know, know I'm right. I, I know I'm, I'm right not that person. Right. I'm not no, that that's person. It's like I got. You'll, you'll, you'll appreciate this. I actually know that, which is why I'm giving you this advice. I said, I don't blame you for that. You're trying to build a business. It's just that I need you to ch- separate church and state. When you make content, you are Maritza full heart. And then you come out of it when you're done and maybe there'll be some things there to do business. Jab, 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 right hook. Give, give, give. And then you can ask and something will happen. What I'm very good at, I'll give you an example. I put out everything for free, have no coaching, have no mastermind, have no island. It's all fucking free. Then occasionally I put out things like, hey, would you sign up for wine text and buy wine for my dad's I did business? It. I Thank, did you. It Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. And then people that have gone and taken all the content for free and changed their financial and happiness life will still go to Publix and Ralph's and Bevmo and Total Wine and buy wine and not buy from Wine Text. And the fact that I am not disappointed in that is why I win. There are hundreds of thousands of people. There are thousands of people watching right now who've gotten extraordinary levels of value from me who buy wine at the supermarket on wine.com and have not signed up for wine text to support my dad, not even me. And, and I'm okay with that. That, that is the punchline. That's the, you want to talk about a fucking secret, not being disappointed when you've given so much and somebody hasn't had the ability to connect the dots, to give a little bit back, to put a little karma back into you. And you're still not disappointed in them. And you're still not sad for yourself. Do you know how many people who sell courses and all this, like, like, like the, like the lowest common denominator guy and gal out there making millions selling bullshit, make fun of me behind my back in that, in those inner circles because they think they make so much more money than me. They're fucking confused, Maritza. They're fucking confused. A, I'm going to make way more money than them because I'm more talented. B, I'm going to be around forever. They're not. C, I'm a better human being than putting more kindness into the world. They're not. You know, when I texted again yesterday, one of the things I said as a new question was, I'm open. I want Gary to call me on my bullshit. And it's so weird when we know things intellectually, but we're not really rolling that way. So for the last three Gary, uh, Tea with Gary V's I've been on. And at the same time, I'm like, oh, shit, two hours of my day. Like, I'm trying to work and listen and whatever. But my point is this. I know for sure because I wrote a blog and I don't write blogs regularly. I'm going to get on it. But I wrote Radical Generosity. I know the keys Mm. to happiness and the first one of them is Radical Generosity. And I mean radical. And yet I'm not practicing it. I say I show people how to show up authentically. I am authentic. It's who I am, right? But I say I do it so they lead with heart. Like my heart is freaking open. I see it. I see it. I'm not showing it it enough. And I'm not saying... Marissa, Come, let me all, also, yeah. also, it's about expectations. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have the expectation for anybody to do anything in return for something. I don't give. Okay. Giving is giving. And, and right now in coaching land, I see a lot of sweet people manipulating. manipulating. They're half their, they're half their best selves because if they leave a little back, they hope the person comes in and pays them 200 bucks a month. Can I just say one little thing, Gary, about my story that just dropped in and so it feels like I'm compelled to share it? So I had suicidal ideation a lot of times. Uh, When Joe and I first got married, there was a major betrayal. He had a serious addictive problem and hid it from me for all the years we dated, and it hit us, and he left me a Dear John note. First year of marriage, leases up. I call the building management, and I said, listen, I have a personal problem crying, right? And yeah. I said, uh, uh, how do I renew my lease? They said, honey, your lease was up yesterday. You got to be out in two days. Picked up the phone and called the Licamellis. Best friends called my parents, packed the boxes. He said, I can't tell you where I am because I'm in deep shit and I don't want you to be in trouble. Like these things, these kind of things happened in 08. Bought the freaking big yeah. McMansion dream home. He worked for General Motors. I tried to a mortgage adjustment on my own. I nearly took my own life thinking that a Freaking thing was worth it, but it was really about what will I tell the family? What will I tell my kids? Like I have other people's opinions. I used to think that I didn't survive anything because I didn't have breast cancer or something. I have survived all that and learned to thrive. I wake up 
ready to go. And I know that that's a value to people. It isn't about me. It's about we've all got resilience. So, Marissa, and so Marissa inside us. Yeah. put that out for free. Yeah. And then if they happen to want to have one-on-one access to you, mm-hmm. then, then, then mazel tov. But if you don't put out for free, yeah. if you don't put that out for free, you'll never attract because the intent is to funnel them, yeah. not to save them. I got it. I got the takeaway and I got what I wanted because I wanted. Church and state. Church and state. Give, 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 and then something's going to happen. That's a total shift right now is happening, and I am going to act on it today. I love you. Good luck. I, I love can't you wait to hear you. Thank you so right. much. You're welcome so much. That was a good one. I think that's going to help a lot of people who are trying to sell, who are also nice people. Uh, man, this is great. Christy Richards, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Oh, Andy Freed with the with the. Uh, I love this. This is the this right here is my favorite screen. The wine text confirmation. Dustin, it's more fun for me to get people to sign up for wine text for my dad because he gets so excited at night when I see him here because I'm hanging with him during this thing. Like 84, poor, you know, it's literally more fun. For, like literally we closed like a $4 million piece of business the other day and like three people signing up right now and sharing on Twitter the confirmation screen to wine text is more exciting than that deal. That's when you know what you're about. Yeah, I kind of get it. All right, let's keep it going. Hello. Hello, Lana. How are you? Hi. It's Lana, like Lana Bananas. <laughs> Lana, it's such a pleasure. Lana, I love your background. I want to sell all of it on eBay. Well, look. I'm making. I'm making that. You're so amazing. Thank you for doing that. Uh, it's a lot more time consuming than I thought, but obviously I've got plenty of fabric, so and I'm home. I'm home from work. Um, I'm fortunate. Um, Nervous. <laughs> I'm fortunate that I have a job that I actually was not laid off. Um, I'm sent home and I'm still being paid. Um, so I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for that. So, um, <laughs> I, what can I, I what can I help you with? I, I my question, my original question, actually has been answered pretty much because I've been watching. Um, I have you know a great job that I've had for for a long time career. And, um, but my whole life, I have, um, stuff spins in my head, all of these ideas, and I harass and torture my family with, oh, I should do this, oh, I could do this, or like my kids, oh, you guys should do this. Um, and, um, I finally, a lot of personal things happen, and I'm in a place in my life where I, I realize that all of my decisions, um, since my teens have been based on fear, you know, all of that, just stuff that I went through. I mean, it, was really- it makes sense. It, it makes sense. People, people that love the word should are always scared. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that funny? And I never realized, and, I mean, all of these choices and bad decisions, like I can go back to where, you know, that I've always been like, oh, it's him, you know, my husband or it's my job's in it, my boss is an asshole or whatever. But I finally realized that all of those things I chose to be in, like for whatever reason, and that yep. I was always afraid to change it. Um, and once I figured that out, that I don't have to stay in this job, I don't have to stay in this marriage or whatever it was, um, it was profound. I had like this major breakdown, you know, hysterical, let it all out. And like, yep. I, I know that I can be better, that I am better and all of that. So it's been very exciting actually for me because now I'm like, I kind of started with something small, like losing weight, you know, middle-aged women can't lose weight and, and everything, and I was actually able to do that. Um, and then I thought, well, if I could do that, what else can I do that, that is impossible, right? I love that. Like running a marathon. I freaking hate running, 